All right. Hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mr. G, and we are talking about our artist of the week. This week, we are talking about Yao Yao Ma Van As. Um, she is an illustrator, and she is very prolific. We're going to talk about her here. First, we're going to go over here to her artist bio. We are on her website here. There's a picture of her there. I'm just gonna read her bio. I'm an art director, painter, illustrator, and occasional animator. Over the years I have worked at Disney, at TV Animation, Warner Brothers Animation, Rick and Morty, Stupid Buddy Studios, Starburns Industries, etc. I enjoy creating little stories with each of my paintings, especially the ones with my dog Parker in them. You will find very quickly that she really likes Parker as her favorite subject matter. Um, currently she lives in LA and she's also a vegan and vegan and an animal lover. So a couple other information about her. Okay. Um, where we're going to look at here, or I want you to look at here is her personal, uh, illustrations here. She also has some books if you want to look at that and some contact information. Um, but if we go to her personal illustrations here, um, and you just kind of go up through here, you can tell that she is very prolific she does a lot of artwork she has been really churning out these series of personal illustrations almost like a diary so to speak um, in her illustration work um, she has put these together recently in a book um, so she did have a focus put in there um, of what she was doing but if you'll notice in this these are all really singular images and if anybody has ever really connected with anybody like on Instagram or any other social media platform that really felt like you related with that person. Um, she definitely has that kind of effect on people. She talks about people uh, in single life and specifically single life and her dog. Here is an image here with her and her puppy Parker here who has torn up all the toilet paper in the bathroom. Um, and I don't know, hike with Parker and she's alone. Okay. But she really resonates with, uh, the single life and like the single professional life. So like the young adult, young adult professional life, uh, and being on your own. Okay. Um, so she, uh, talks about that quite a bit in her illustration. Um, very rarely do you find any of her illustration where you do not know what's going on. She is a very good storyteller. Um, she also uses, and ex she has an excellent uh, mastery of the use of light and color um, to give emotion and feeling to her illustrations. They are all, you know, a lot of them have a very warm and fuzzy feeling. You know, even when like, you know, she's showing that she's upset or frustrated, um, she has a very warm feeling to her illustrations. Um, so this week, I want you to go and look through all of... Yao Yao's uh, illustrations here, like I said, there are a ton of them, okay? Um, two questions I want you to focus on this week. Pick an illustration. Um, talk about why you like it, why you chose it, why it found it appealing, okay? Um, second question, I want you to specifically talk about her use of light, color, and storytelling, okay? I want you to make an observation and a comment about each of those three elements, okay? So on the second part, you should have three sentences. One that talks about light, one that talks about color, and one that talks about storytelling. What do you observe? What do you see? How does light and color affect the mood of this illustration? How does uh, her storytelling come across? Can you tell what's going on in the picture? Can you, like I said, I doubt there's anyone you're gonna find where you really can't figure out what's going on in that illustration. Okay, so that's our artist of the week, Yao Yao Ma Valens, and uh, take a look at those. Hope you like those. Uh, leave your can uh, com uh, comments, and uh, we will see you in class soon.